Hey guys, welcome in. We are now live in the five day EKG Facebook group for day number four, which is one of my personal favorites um, because we have tonight, we have a special, we have two special guests. We have coach Michelle, who's going to be kicking off our Senate session for us today. And then after, after my session, we have um, coach Joe, who's going to come on and do a basic arrhythmia behind the scenes. So lots of action tonight. And uh, after his talk, we're going to be giving away the scholarship to uh, the 30 day. So um, I'm super excited about that as well. And um, I just wanted to take a, a minute and um, thank Michelle for being here. She is actually out of town and she has been with us every night despite being out of town. And she's even going to host a little game session for you guys tonight and uh, make it fun. Finally, this EKG stuff fun. So Michelle Barkley, um, our coach that has been with us for over two years is gonna, gonna take over. Um, she's not only a bad bleep, 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 RN, badass, and, but, but she, um, she's just a, a crazy smart person with anything advanced heart failure, LDAD, Impala, all the things. So pick her brain, she loves it. And um, she's gonna take it away with some, some games for you guys tonight. So welcome in Coach Michelle. Hey guys. All right. So let's get started right away because we don't want to waste any time since there's a lot to do tonight. So I'm going to start off with an actual game. I love to play games. So come off a of mute or put it in the chat and I'm going to watch the um, questions on Facebook live too. So I can see if people are posting the answers to these. So these are just play. This is like taking the stuff that Jennifer has already um, giving us and just making it into a game. So it's kind of fun. Of course, you can see Baby Yoda's there, all the stuff's there. And it's an, a game that I've used for quite a while. It's um, called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? If y'all remember that game, you can see um, I give the guy rights that's done this because he allows people to use this for educational purposes. So I have his name on there. And the first question that we're going to play is worth 100 points. So um, when I get home tomorrow, I'm going to actually have some more games or some more prizes for y'all, but I'm not home until tomorrow. So I can show you what we're going to use when we finish the game. So we'll give away some more prizes that I, that I make. So question number one for a hundred points, a, the sinus node, which Jennifer talked about the first night on kind of just reviewing the stuff. Sinus node creates a P wave that is representative of what, and you can see the answers there. It says, atrial repolarization, atrial depolarization, ventricular repolarization, or ventricular depolarization. If y'all wanna come off a of mute or if you wanna put it in the chat, I am watching the chat here. All right, yes, we have a lot of Bs. I don't see anybody yet on the, on the Facebook Live. So um, sometimes there's a bit of a lag. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the answer to that one. And my little thing here goes. All right, so atrial depolarization. So as y'all know, when you see that P wave, electricity happens and then mechanical. And I like to say that because I also do ventricular assist devices. So when I say the atrial activity happens and then the mechanical activity happens. So number two for 200 points, and Jennifer also talked about this one. What is the normal axis? So she talked about normal. Oh, we already have some answers. Yes, y'all are y'all are already there. <laughs> so zero to ninety. And what that like, what that does? Let me see if I can draw. I'm just going to do super quick, Jen. I'm just going to make a little line here because if anybody's ever not quite understanding axis. The electrical activity in the heart, and I'm going to draw just a cute little heart here like this. Electricity comes this way in the heart, the normal electric electrical vectors. So normal electricity is coming this way. And that's why we say axis. So if anybody ever gets confused about what axis is, that's all that means. It just means that um, the, the heart's electrical activity is moving in one direction across the heart. All right, so let's go to the next one. Y'all got that one? See if there's anybody on Facebook. Just, um, Jen, if you see anybody on Facebook too, I don't see anybody answering questions on Facebook yet. Okay, so we just have the ones that are in the group. So Jen talked about this one a couple times. What is on the differential? Your patient has a wide QRS, 
the PR interval is less than 120, and we know that 120 is normal. And the key giveaway is there is a delta wave. There is a delta wave. So we have, oh, yes, y'all are so smart. Wow, y'all are just like on top of this. The um, answer to that one is WPW. And a lot of times it's hard to see that delta wave, especially when they get super tachycardic. And I know Jen showed last, I think it was last night where she showed the one that the patient was in AFib with fast ventricular response at rapid ventricular response and they had WPW. So that was a little bit harder to see. Okay, so another quick review here. What is normal PR interval? What is normal PR interval? Normal PR interval. Let's see. Yes, I have some answers in the um, chat. Oh, look at you, Candice. You're even writing it out. 120 to um, 200 milli, 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 milliseconds. I can get that out. 120 to 200 milliseconds. She's a fast typer. I'm hard doing good enough sometimes to put the letters in there. Okay. And I think we have one more. Nope. That's it. That is it, Jen. I just oh. wanted to get a little snack. That is not um, we're going to go into more questions tomorrow night. I'll have some new ones for you and, um, and some prizes. Hopefully I'll be back home by in time and we can, um, I can show you the mug rugs that I've got. So take it, take it away, Jen. Thanks, Michelle. You're the bestest. We are so excited when you come on and do games with us. Um, so we'll be seeing more of Michelle tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and um, show up for that in the beginning for the Michelle questions. Um, they are just so much fun. So we're going to do case four tonight. And then we're going to have a special guest, um, Joe, come on and from Chart Healthcare Academy. And he's going to do some basic arrhythmia sneak peek, um, blending what happens in the cath lab with what we see on the paper, which is so cool uh, to be able to pick his brain. Um, so not only do you have fun with Michelle, you have um, super high level stuff with Joe. And then we're going to talk about case four today. And on after Joe's session, we're going to give away a scholarship tonight. So this is the night you've all been waiting for. If you want to join our class that starts Monday, it's called the 30 day EKG challenge. We're going to be giving away a scholarship tonight. Michelle coaches in that group. So does coach David, as you met last night. Um, and it's just filled with stuff. And I'll talk to you about it at the end. But without further ado, I wanted to show the homework um, because we uh, have, especially Josh, who is here with us, um, he has asked for us to show the homework answers. So this is the homework answers from day three. Um, if any of you are following along with the workbook, if you still need the workbook, if you're just joining us, no worries, put a hashtag workbook in the chat on either Zoom or Facebook and our wonderful assistant Tori will get it for you. Okay. And you may have been noticing I have a different background every night. Um, Michelle was like, oh, you're in a hotel again. <laughs> um, both Michelle and I are on the road traveling. I'm actually uh, just left a wonderful PA school taught there today and uh, heading to one of our conferences tomorrow. So um, it's super exciting to be with you guys at night because you are my people. That's all I can say. Okay, so what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about EKG findings to hunt for in syncope. Okay, this is gonna set the stage for case four because as we talked about last night, there was a finding that we need to look for. It's Michelle's favorite, remember? Michelle, what do you say for uh, Brigadas? What's your little saying? Michelle, do you? Sorry, I couldn't couldn't find the unmute button. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I like to say "brr." It's cold in the in the V's, and "brr" me reminds me "brr got us. So then, cold in the V's reminds me that I should that I can ski in the V's, and then I start looking for the ski slopes in especially V one and V two. Heather just said "brr." <laughs> I love it, Heather. You're our, you're our tribe for sure. Um, so looking over here in V1 and V2, um, you can almost picture myself skiing on those ski slopes. This was Brigada's. We talked about this last night. Remember sudden death. And then hokum um, is also something we should look for, as well as wolf Parkinson's white which we talked about on night two, and other things like MI and prolonged QT, okay? So this is the case that we're going to talk about tonight. This was a young male, and I'm just going to tell you what happened. So this was a young male. He was 18, and he was running on the track. And it was a really hot day and he was sweating a lot. And he was like, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't feel that great, but I'm just, you know, just dehydrated. I, I should keep going. Um, I really need to, uh, you know, get in shape. And so he kept going, but he pushed it too much and he had a syncopal episode. So his buddy runs over, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? And he's like, he wakes up, 
He's like, I'm fine. I don't need to go to the hospital. So his, his friend said, I already called the ambulance are on their way. And the ambulance luckily was able to talk him into going to the hospital. Now he tried saying, I'm fine, really. Luckily they took him anyway. And here was his EKG that was done at the hospital. So you guys can marinate on that, but they did draw lab work and the lab work was all normal. They gave him a liter of saline and he felt better, but honestly, who wouldn't feel better after a liter of saline? And then they were like, well, let's do a chest X-ray, make sure there's no enlarged heart. And there wasn't. So they said, okay, well, you know, his EKG is a little abnormal, but we, it's, it read, does he have an old anterolateral MI or old lateral MI? Because he had Q waves in lead one, AVL, V5, and V6. So they were like, well, you know, he's 18. He doesn't do drugs. It's probably fine. We'll just, he wants to go home. He's hungry. We'll discharge him. I know I've been there in the ER, right? When your, your patient is like, I just want to go. I feel fine. You didn't want to come here in the first place. So they're like, okay, cool. You can go home. And so he goes home and follow up your primary. Okay. 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 So the next day uh, he's mowing the lawn and unfortunately he goes into cardiac arrest. So what was the clue that was missed. So this EKG shows the clue that was missed and we're gonna talk about that. And so how you can not miss it when you see this finding. Now I will admit this is a zebra, which is why Michelle put some zebras on these slides for us. Um, but in a nutshell, anybody who's syncopal, we need to look deep at their EKG for all the things we talked about. So um, here's the zebras. If you have Q waves, in lead one, where the zebra is, AVL, V5 and V6, where all the zebras are, if you have Q waves, you need to be worried. And Josh, who is also a cardiology slash ERPA is here. Um, and he says, look at them big old R waves. That's also part of the mix. So Josh knows that if you have big R waves, that you need to worry about a big heart, okay? And more tissue potentially could be this thing. So what this was representing that was actually causing his cardiac arrest is he had hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, otherwise known as HOCUM. Now, these patients are the ones that go have syncopals on the fields, they're athletes, and unfortunately, we're not picking this up in the office. And part of that is because they're not coming in, they're young, and they're male, they're, they don't have any reason to come in and get preventative care. They're like, I'm fine, right? And they're tough, and so they don't they don't think about it. But if we do a sports physical, this is something that we should be catching in our sports physicals. This thing on the night, the thing last night, right? So, in a nutshell, how do you find this? You look for the cues that are skinny narrow daggers in one AVL V5 and P6 where the zebras are. Now, I want to just revisit the Q wave situation for a second because we talked a little bit about Q waves on night one. If you were able to join us, and we said, hey. Q waves are significant if they're deep and one third the height of the R wave. But the other part of that that we didn't tell you, because yes, Q waves can mean old MI, we didn't tell you this part. That they, if they're part of a pattern and they show up in one AVL, five and B6, we also have to worry about HOCA, which this patient had. And I'll tell you why he went into cardiac arrest in a minute. So this is usually diagnosed, unfortunately, on autopsy, which we mentioned. And as you can see on the left, the ventricle is very skinny. And on the right, the ventricle is very thick. And what happens is this thickened ventricle leads to an outflow tract obstruction. And when the blood tries to get to the body, when the ventricle, the really thick ventricle comes together, it creates an obstruction. It also can sometimes be asymmetric. So if your septum is a little thicker on one side, it can lead to mitral valve regurgitation. And that is a murmur you should not hear in a young person. So the take home is that if you have somebody who is young and let's say they've never had anything wrong yet, but they have any priority chief complaints like syncope, chest pain, palpitations, you need to think about this finding with them and have a low threshold to do an EKG and look for those deep, narrow, skinny dagger cues in one AVL, V5, and V6, okay? And that's the take home. There's a couple other clues, right? We talked about this thickening here. They can also have an S3 or an S4. Let me ask you a question. This is not EKG related, but if you heard an S3, 
what would that usually make you think about? What condition would that make you think about? And S3, what normally would you, would you think of? And you can come off mute or, or top, type in the chat. Ah, Yoon Chun Lee, yes. Um, very, very, very good. So Yoon Chun Lee on Facebook said, will an echo see this? And yes, this is actually the way to diagnose it. It's not on EKG, it's on echo. You'll see a thickening of the ventricle. It'll give you a measurement and it'll tell you if it's obstructed. So as Josh said, um, S3 usually means the heart is dilated and big. And also S4, if you hear that, that oftentimes means you have a stiff wall. Okay, you can hear either one of those. So basically my rule of thumb is if I have any priority chief complaints, I'm listening hard for a murmur. And if I hear one, I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna have a low threshold to bench that kid uh, or person, no exercise, because that's the thing that can kill them. And then you get them referred, okay? So Josh said S4, kick and stiff. Good way to remember it. I remember it like that too, Josh. A stiff wall, a stiff wall, a stiff wall is what the S4 sounds like. So good job, you guys. So the clues were, um, he was an athlete who was thinkable. We looked for the cues, skinny narrow dagger and one AVLV5 and B6. And right, we, we listen for a murmur. And there's a thing with the murmur that actually can help you diagnose this. And a lot of you may know this already, but we'll talk about it in a second. So I want to just revisit really quick the Q wave situation because the Q wave, okay, the Q wave is skinny narrow dagger on the left and it's wide on the right, okay? So wide reminds me of a wine glass and the left one reminds me of a champagne flute. And I'd much rather have the wine glass on the right because I could fit more wine into it. And um, Michelle says, gotta love the lateral leads. They tell us so much. Very true, Michelle, very true. Um, Michelle actually has a very good visual way of showing you what all the leads look at with her cell phone and a camera. It's, and she puts stickers all over her. It's really fun. It's like a party. Um, so this is what the clue is, guys. If you have a murmur that softens with squatting, putting the two S's together, soften, squat, soften, squat, that's how you remember it, um, then you're suspicious of this. If it gets louder with standing, you're also suspicious of this because what, what's happening is the outflow tract is getting, um, it's actually getting blocking, okay? So if, if you're widening the outflow tract by squatting, then the murmur is gonna be softer. So that's cool, right? That's super interesting to know. That's actually a vis visual representation uh, of me. And I am actually, um, you can tell it's me because there's a zebra on my shoe. And also they're the blonde girl, that's definitely me. So anyway, going on with um, this, you, you wanna listen for a murmur. So the treatment for hokum is unfortunately, there's not a lot of treatment. You need an ICD. You want to think about beta blockers and you want to think about potentially an ablation. It's a different kind of ablation than most of the general EPs do. But um, bottom line is, yes, we would think about ICDs. So Joe just asked, where is Remy? I know um, Remy is actually back at home. I am down in a hotel, as you can see. Um, yeah, so good time. I miss him. Believe me, I miss him. So Joe's going to be on next, you guys, and I'm super excited to um, have you meet him in case you might have seen one of his lectures before, um, but he's going to come back on at 615 for a bonus lecture. And I wanted to talk about the giveaway. Now this is Coach Michelle and I, I put her picture because um, she has so many gifts for us in, in the way she teaches us. And um, one of you is going to benefit from it tonight because we're going to do the drawings from last night and we're going to do the drawings from tonight after Joe's lecture. So we're gonna do, I know there is Josh, I know you're so smart. Um, there, so we're gonna be doing a drawing for the MI windows that we showed you last night after Joe's and we're gonna do the drawing for the scholarship after Joe's session. So um, what, so actually Esprit, hi Esprit, yay. So Robert says, what causes the arrest? That is such a good question. That is such a good question. So Robert, um, what causes the arrest is a perfusion issue. The heart isn't able to perfuse and they usually go into V-fib or V-tac. And that also is usually what causes the syncope or it can just be a straight blood flow issue. They, they aren't perfusing because of that outflow tract. Um, but the exercise is what precipitates it because then they're requiring more oxygenated blood and the heart's pumping more and they're not able to get it out. 
So yeah, no exercise for those Hocum patients. Good, good, good. Um, yes, as Marie says, class with Michelle is a treat. I know it is. So Josh is just putting the new med that has literally just come out for Hocum. Um, I don't even talk about that med yet just because I'm waiting to see some outcome data first. Um, but it is interesting because they haven't had anything for a long time, which is super cool. So let me tell you about um, what you're going to get if you win tonight. So obviously we're going to do the drawing for the winners from last night, the MI windows, and we're also going to do the scholarship. Now, what do you get if you win the scholarship? So you're going to get what ticket for a whole month inside of our 30 day, 30 EKG challenge. Now you have access to the coaches, me, Michelle and David, but also other coaches as well. And we have recorded sessions for the last two years that you'll get access to the whole vault, okay, if you're our scholarship winner. We had two scholarship winners last time, and um, they absolutely learned so much. But you're going to get access to two groups, to the 30 Day EKG Facebook group, where we have all the new live classes coming and all the recordings, but also to this group called the EKG Launchpad. This is a group where we file away all of our basic classes. So if you're like a newbie, 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 and you're like, yeah. I just wanna go back and look at the waves. I just wanna spend time on the waves. You can do that, right? We've got that all. Oh, Jackie's here, yeah, you made it. So glad, Jackie. Um, yeah, so you can go into the launch pad and look up any of the basic stuff. Michelle does lots of drawings in here of the coronary anatomy. You can have guided practice. There's a lot of good stuff happening in the launch pad. So you get access to classes on Mondays there and the rest of the classes are in the 30 day EKG Facebook group. Now, what kind of classes are in there? Well, you get 12 hours of category one CE based on these classes. These are all act accessible right away as soon as you sign up in the, for the portal, the, the Facebook, or sorry, the learning portal, which is online. But you also get access to the Facebook groups. And in the meantime, I'll be sending you your EKG kit with all your goodies inside. And Josh says 30 day all the way, exactly. Um, Shinny, you actually came on uh you won something last night you have to make sure to get back to me so i can i can mail you your prize from last night you're one of the winners so you get access to these facebook groups um as i mentioned and you also get access to all these live classes that are coming up so the first class is going to be on the 10th which is the first day of our 30 day if you want to jump in with michelle to do some arrhythmia practice like if you're really super into arrhythmias cool you can join michelle and she will walk you through arrhythmias we will also do a welcome call at 5.30 Pacific, the same time as now. And we'll be doing a welcome call. We'll be doing EKG terminology and showing you around the Facebook group where everything is. And then we have basic 12 with Michelle, which is all super, super basic. And so the first week we're really getting you immersed in the basic. We have coach David coming on with study hall. On the 16th, we're gonna meet up. This is, this is all recorded. Um, we're going to meet up for a hands-on workshop where we're going to go over the EKGs that I send you in your box. We're going to go over those together in a workshop. And then Michelle's going to go back and do a little bit more MI work with you at four o'clock. We're going to have Gary on, who you saw last night. He was our guest, where he did a whole hour. He's going to do another hour for our 30-day members. Okay, so you'll get access to that. We'll also do some cardiac farm. We'll do some study hall where we talk about, um, yeah, Marsha, what, what are the time zones? Thank you. Pacific Standard. And Marsha, I think you're already in the group and um, we're excited to have you in the group with us. I'm super thrilled that you're joining. The study hall will be kind of catered to what you guys want to learn. We'll customize a topic to what you want to learn. And that's the same thing that happens with David. If you say, hey, we want to learn about Dave, LVH, David, or here's some EKGs I want you to break down, you send them to David and he does the whole hour on whatever you want. Okay. So all the times are in PST. And then we have, um, I'm gonna do a young people don't have heart disease lecture here. Our coach, Megan is gonna come on and do study hall here. And then we're gonna do a sports physical consideration on the 31st. So this is what's just gonna be live, but we have all sorts of recordings as well in the Facebook group. And this will go into November a little bit where we'll have additional classes in the first and second week, but you'll get access to all that. So you're gonna get basics, right? Waves, arrhythmias, you're gonna get basic 12 lead, all the reciprocal changes, all the contiguous leads, you're going to get all of this in our 30 day course. And you're going to even learn some higher level things like non specific STT wave changes and all the things that can live in there. We're also going to talk about one of those things tomorrow night's session. So don't miss that. That is going to be a finding that will change the way you look at EKGs. Um, I'll just give you a hint it's a 38 year old female with a cough and she doesn't have COVID. And it's something really bad and it was almost missed. And I'm gonna share it with you. It's a real case. 
I'm going to share with you how to not miss it. There's other things like that, though, that we will be covering in the 30 days. So you don't want to miss out on that. And you're going to get a bunch of things, whether you're a scholarship winner or our regular joining member. You're going to get this workbook, the crayons. You're going to get the kits with the toys inside. You're going to get a little, little painting by me. And you're going to get access to all the courses live and previously recorded. And you'll be in, if you're not a scholarship winner and you join us, you'll be in the whole six months with us. So we'll even be doing another one of these in January and you'll still be in, you'll be going through it with us. So the price, if you don't win tonight, you can still join. Here's the price list. This is a steal because you get 12 hours of category one CE, okay? You can, if you don't need CE though, you can get in for the next six months for only $127. This is a steal to get access to live and recorded coaching. EMS members are only 149. And um, also RNs are 199 and PA and NP are 249. So that's what's coming for you. We're giving away one of those tonight. So um, if you aren't on live, that's okay. We'll tag you if you won, but here's how to enter to win. You're gonna put a certain hashtag in. Okay, you're gonna put a certain hashtag in and it's gonna be the hashtag Michelle. Hashtag Michelle. <laughs> Hashtag Michelle, because we love Michelle so much. Um, so if you want to win more time with Michelle, more time with me, more time with David and the rest of the coaches, but hashtag Michelle will be drawing from that tonight when Joe is on. So I'm going to hop off um, and get Joe ready to go for your session. Um, where if it's going to be recorded, if it's late, you can go to sleep. If you're on the East Coast, you can watch it tomorrow. But if you do come live, uh, I really want you to interact with Joe, um, pick his brain because it's very rare he comes on. And he's super smart. So we have lots of hashtag Michelle's. Yay. Um, Michelle, do you have anything you want to tell them about the 30 day? Anything that sticks out for you that you want to kind of tell them that's special about the 30 day? Probably the fact that, um, especially with uh, David and Megan, when they come on and do their study halls, that whatever you have questions on, if you just pop in a question, they will actually make a whole 15, 20 minute, 30 minute lecture on any kind of questions that you have. I mean, this is all geared to your learning style and we each have different learning styles. We, um, each of the instructors, the coaches have different learning or different teaching styles. And we try to incorporate everybody's learning style in that. And definitely this is a place of encouragement. I have worked for 36 years in the ICU and with devices and um, all different places. And this place is so encouraging. It is just all about making sure that you get the information you need. And literally no question is dumb. I've already asked all the dumb ones. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. And, the, and she's right. There is no dumb questions. There really isn't. The dumb question is the one that you don't ask. And then somebody goes and dies. But um, anyway, we've loved hanging out with you. If you have questions, um, like we're going to draw the scholarship winner tonight. Um, but the first five people that join the 30 day are going to also get Gary's workbook for free on me. So you want to be one of the first five. So if you don't win the scholarship, um, then definitely um, you want to for sure get on this so you can be one of the first five because that works. Their workbook is $40, comes with a badge, comes with all the online access. So you definitely want to get that as a prize. So first five people are going to get that. So we'll see you back at 615 sharp. Fast action bonus, as Tori said. We'll see you at 615 with Joe and Michelle. Thank you as usual. You're amazing. We love you. And thank you all, everybody who came on live. We really appreciate you being here and hope you got a lot out of it. We'll see you in just 15 minutes. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.